Okay, YouTube. Um, those are my two Mercedes S classes. But that's on the left is the S550. This one on the right is the S430. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually changing the alternator on my S430. And um, yeah, because I want to get on the road. So that way I don't have to drive that one all the time. You know, just for, for like special occasions and <laughs> I can drive this one. Um, it, it runs pretty well, um, but the alternator went bad. So I'm replacing the alternator. Now I did not take all of this out like other people on YouTube do. I left the bumper on, I left the the uh, radiator in and everything. I just sort of squeezed it in there. Anyway, what I want to point out is this. Um, the main problem, one of the problems to getting this in and out is this section right here. Now, if you notice, there's a, uh, this long piece here. The screw goes through here, but it also has to go through this section and that. I mean, this hole and that hole. It fits right in the middle of this section right here. So this fits between here. And what was killing me last night, because I was working on it since last night, now it's daytime, I can see. Um, this little lip, it was hard to squeeze it in there because it was the exact fit. I was trying to get it in there and it just won't go. Um, this little lip here was the problem. It's the same problem at the bottom because it's the same arrangement at the bottom. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I just realized that I can move this. This, I don't know what's it called, like a sleeve. It, it slides in and out. It's kind of hard, but it slides in and out. So I'm gonna use a piece of metal that I found and I'm going to show you how I did the one at the bottom because I had to do something else so I'm going to try to push it in and you're going to see so I'm going to push against this metal like so you can see it like that and you might see it go in there it is it just went in so now it's flat Push it in some more. Now it's flat. Alright, so now it's flat. I don't have to worry about that little lip. Um, now, the one at the bottom was a little different because I couldn't get the pipe down there. So what I did was I took a good old vice grip. All right, I did it already, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. I uh, put it on there. Okay, so it's again, it's down on the bottom right there. Getting out of focus right there. So I'm going to put the vice grip over it. And you squeeze it down. Now once it's clamped down, you just rock it from side to side and eventually you keep rocking it, keep rocking it, keep rocking it and now it's flush okay uh, so that's how I did that now I'm going to get the alternator in, but I need two hands to do it, so I'm going to, I'm going to turn the camera off for that. Alright, so I just anchored one at the bottom there, and now I'm going to do the one at the top. Just want to show you, if it goes in there, I'm just going to put it right there. Raise this in place. 
and just try to slide this in.